Hello everyone, we are the group 5, myself Nahid, Beli, patient Farshid and Amir. They have experiences with the stroke, particularly with the right area and weakness. We are now going to perform a butterfly design mosaic. For the craft and arts, our focus is to help the patient regain their strength and also help them exercise their hands and fingers. Okay. Hi everyone, I am the OTA for today. My name is Fali and I have uh, materials for my patient. I have my egg here. I have my butterfly design. I have my brass and I have my paint. So our uh, craft for today is mosaic butterfly design. So the first procedure I will distribute the egg. And then next, they will uh, start cracking the egg slowly, mm -hmm. slowly, crunching like uh, like this mm -hmm. oh. to smear them. Okay. And then slowly, slowly. Is it fun? Yes, Nahid. And then here. Uh, by cracking the egg, it helps the patient for, for uh, exercising their hands and fingers. I think this is good. And then now, I will distribute the butterfly, one for you, okay, but I want you to make like this, mm -hmm. and this is for you, mm -hmm. and this is for you, Nahid. So the next step is, we are putting the glue in the top of the butterfly, like, like this. I think we need to cut it. Here is for you. You need to scatter this mm -hmm. this glue, and for you, Nahid. And are you okay there? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. okay Thank good. You. So now slowly, slowly scatter the. But the glue to the top of the butterfly. So now we can use this for you to, and I will help everyone. And then Fashid, uh, I can help you to over there. Okay, I will go on the other side. Uh, thank you. Okay. And then I will help you to stick the egg mm -hmm. shell. That's fine.
So how about you here, Amir? I need to help you a little yes. bit. Yes, okay. Oh yes, after taking the egg, they need to color it, but can we leave it a little bit, I think, it, to dry a little bit, so for a while like that. So this is our mosaic butterfly. Uh, we stick the eggshell into the butterfly surface. And then we will start our coloring to our butterfly design. So I will distribute the brush. One for you, one for you, and one for you. Yeah, thank you. So, Nahid, what color do you want for your paint? I like oh. pink. Pink? Good. Okay. This is uh, my favorite color. Mm -hmm. Here, I think you can dip it yeah. like this. And other one, you want the red one to the yeah. other side? Yeah. Okay, Fashid, you want... Give me, please, uh, green. Green and... The brown is good. Thank you. Good. Now is happening for you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And Amir, what color do you want for and your... Blue and orange. Good. Okay guys, enjoy uh, painting. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So maybe I can help you guys. So you are in the in the lower side. Yeah. I'm in the I want there to be orange and then here. Yeah, here, here, yeah, blue. Orange okay. in the top. Yeah. So how are you there, Fasli? Doing Good. great? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Are you okay there yeah. too? Yeah. So maybe you can put the red in the yeah. middle for that. So. Uh, While they are painting the butterfly design, uh, the different color in, in the butterfly, they reflect on their brain because they had a cognitive and it helps for their development of their brain. Okay, we are oh, finishing oh, up, yeah. yes. Yeah. We are finishing this. You're doing great, Nahid. <laughs> awesome. I like it. Okay. I think we are almost done. So, guys, we are almost done for our painting.
Okay, this is uh, Nahi. Nahi, the finishing uh, butterfly mosaic. It's beautiful, guys. See? Wow, and fantastic day for today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Question and answer to be discussed. Begin by describing population of group of patients that you would lead, including factors that can benefit from the particular group approach. We have to agree to choose a group of patients who suffered from cardiovascular accident or stroke. This group of patients experienced paralysis on one side of the body as a part of its symptoms. The sensory motor of this patient have been affected, especially their ability to move of one side of their body and their sense of touch. The gross and fine motor skills of this population may have been affected as well. Determine the client's population that, you, that can utilize the activity and include diagnosis and the strengths requirement for the client's use of the craft and arts. The client's population that benefit from this activity are those patients that are diagnosed with right side paralysis secondary to cerebrovascular accident or stroke with limited movement of the arms, including the hands and finger. Determine the performance areas that would be part of this ability. Decide if the patient in the group have cognitive, emotional, psychological, and physical problems areas. We have decided to organize a group of mosaic with butterfly design. As a part of our craft presentation, this focuses on the cognitive and physical problem areas of our patient. We wanted to let our patient to exercise their hands and fingers through the mosaic. We also wanted them to familiarize different colors and textures as a part of cognitive exercises. Identify the level of functioning that describes this group. Which group model would you choose? Based on the diagnosis and symptom of this group, we chose the Butterfly Design Mosaic Integrative Group Model. This model is best suited for persons who show limitation in sensory motor development and who require stimulation to engage with their environment in a meaningful way. Decide uh, which type of roles the patient might contribute to group. The type of the role that this patient will contribute to the group will be group building and maintain roles uh, which has the following seven roles such as encourager, harmonizer, compromiser, gatekeeper, expeditor, standard setter, group observer, and commentator. Decide on the particular activity, art or craft that you would want to lead the group with and teach, how it might influence your patient using this therapeutic approach. A group mosaic uh, with a butterfly design and making activity will help promote the use of right and left brain function to relax and reward the brain. This group of patients practice and move their hands and fingers. This will also help maintain of cognitive function. This will provide them sense of accomplishment and reinforce sense of confidence.